So the widow used harder. So the widow used explosion. Hello YouTube, this is Chris Maniac, your friendly neighborhood maniac, bringing you folks another Pokemon X and Y Wi-Fi battle. In this match, I have an NEU battle versus Jared. So looking at my team, I have my standard Fire Water Grass core, which is a very good defensive core if um, you're using it in any sort of matchup. And I have my um, my my Armada there, there to spin, and my Sudowoodo there to set Stealth Rocks. My Sunrod and my Combustion are there set up, and my Leafeon is there for my deck type stuff like Heal Bell and Wish Passing and stuff like that. Looking at Jerry's team, his team doesn't look really threatening. Most of his threats are physical. The only special attackers in his team are probably his Dancing Pineapple thing. What's it called again? Ludicolo and his Heatmore. So this should be a pretty fun match. I haven't faced this Pokemon any before, so let's go with it. Anyways, so I lay off my Sudowoodo, and he's off his Marowak, so I'm like, ooh, Marowak, I can wood hammer that thing. Instead of Stealth Rocks, thinking that this Sudowoodo isn't that much of a threat, buy a max attack, so, and then I go for that wood hammer, destroying that Marowak, taking out most of its health, and I do a lot of damage to me to myself in return. But I'm expecting now for him to go for the Bone Meringue Earthquake, so I bring in my Honda just to resist that because I have Levitate on this guy, or rather a girl. And I can just hit him up with another super effective... Well, not super effective, but it hits it really hard because Marowak doesn't have the best special defense. But right here, I'm thinking that his... Um, what's his face? His um, little skunk thing, skunk tank, might come in and try to pursuit trap me, but instead he stays in, goes for the um, stone edge right here. And I'm like, okay, that's fine, I can just sub-disable it because this is in fact my sub-disable haunter, which is not my other haunter, which is my... Um, some uh, plane split haunter. I have two haunters actually, which is pretty interesting. I like haunters. They're a staple of my, for my new teams. They have so much resistances, and I, I just love these guys. Um, anyways, he switches out right there and goes to this contact. I was suspecting that after I disabled the stone edge. So he, right here, I go for a substitute, and this is great for me because I am safe behind a sub, and um, he'll pursue trap me, but he'll only catch my sub, that little plushy, instead of the real Pokemon, which is my haunter. So yeah, take my sub please, take my plushie, don't take me, myself, and he gets a crit right there, which is pretty useless. I get out of there, taking my hunter safely out of the battlefield, I bring in Peter, because I know he can't really do much to me, um, my Armado, and I'm a physical wall, he can't really um, touch me. So I am right here with Peter, just to spin away his stealth rocks, I set up. I need to spin away his stealth rocks, because it's always good to spin away his stealth rocks. Anyways, he goes for a sucker punch right here, it doesn't really do much because Peter is a defensive behemoth. I take that like a champ. I go for rapid spin, showing off my awesome moves, popping his air balloon, which is pretty good. I can earthquake this contact now if it chooses to stay in. And uh, I'm in here I'm here eating my leftovers, he switches out right here. Um and he brings another Pokemon, which is Ludicolo. And I'm like, okay, Ludicolo. He's probably gonna try to set up a rain dance on my switch because um, he would think that I would be threatened out by this thing's water type stab. So I'm just gonna stay in my model. He did his job of spinning away the stealth rocks. I'm fine if he goes down this turn, but it'd be even better if I take him down right now. So just as I predicted, he goes for that rain dance, and now I could just hit him up with a hard hitting X scissor. Hit him with all of that, cutting that pineapple right in half, ready to eat. And I take down that Ludicolo, so that is great. Ludicolo are a really big threat in and you, and even in Yu Yu. I've seen Hayden use that thing to great effect, and it's not pretty. <laughs> what if you're the oppo if you're the opposing team? Anyways, he goes for Stun Edge with his uh, with his Marowak, and uh, that's fine by me. I didn't want to switch anything into this Marowak, anyways. I bring the monster, please, because the rain's set up. I'm gonna take advantage of this rain now. Thank you very much for the rain, Jared. And I can just hit him up with a razor shell. And I just love that animation. That looks so sick. Like, the samurai took out one of his shells and used it like a sword and snatched that Marowak in half. Marowak, you're not the only one who could use a handheld weapon. Samurai could use one too. Anyways, in comes his um, Earth Ring. He protects himself. I go for a razor shell once again. And he has now the Guts Boost ability, which makes him hit like a truck. And I was thinking I could survive one facade because I have max HP, but no, this uh, this bear is so much of a powerhouse. 
and Marvel Rush I'll bear FC I mean bear hunts you yes <laughs> did I use that properly I believe I did <laughs> I just need to work my Russian accent though anyways I bring in Paulette which is a pun on poulet which is the French way to say um chicken and I go for a protect right here just gotta speed boost up and right here I'm I'm sa I'm feeling safe because I can go for a swords dance and hang on my focus sash and his whole team um, as far as I know, it doesn't have a priority. But I forgot about Arbok and Scum Tank, which obviously have Sucker Punch if he is a good um, battler. So anyway, it freaks me. I go, I go for a Swords Dance right there, and um, I hang on with a Focus Sash, and basically this bear is dead. <laughs> it's gonna go down to a, um, to a, what's it called? Sky Uppercut. And uh, I have a 10% chance of missing, but um, I hope I hope not miss. I hope so. And there is some Heat More, and this thing probably has Sucker Punch also. Actually, I just realized this whole team can carry Sucker Punch. Have his team, anyways. This team probably does carry Sucker Punch, that's why he probably brought it in. But I just go for the um, Sky Uppercut right there, and it absolutely annihilates that. And who needs Blaziken when you have Combuskin? Combuskin does a lot of work in this battle. It's the killer KFC in the house, ready to um, fry you and destroy you and, like, a. Uh, um, yeah, incinerate you <laughs> and punch you up. Anyways, he goes for Sucker Punch right here. I was, I was expecting a Sucker Punch, so I went, that's why I went, for, I went for the Protect. And I was just scouting out what he's gonna do. Right here, I'm gonna go for a Swords Dance, luring him to a false sense of security, just trying to predict this guy. And he goes for the Coil right here, which is pretty nice in his part. He gets um, a Coil up, and he um, doesn't really uh, suffer damage from me because I went for a Swords Dance. So he's predicting me pretty well right now. He's doing all the right moves, but now he doesn't go for a Sucker Punch. I go for a big flare blitz, and I absolutely incinerate the Arbok at plus three attack, and down goes the Arbok, destroyed. And uh, Paulette goes down heroically, not by the enemy's hands, but by her own hands, which is a very good way to go, in my opinion. If you are um, in a battle or something, hopefully you never end up in a battle. That's terrible. But anyways, I go for a protect right here, just starting off his Earth Ring, just getting more burn damage on it. He goes for a Prasad. I'm not gonna take one because my Leafeon has max defense, max HP, so I can probably take one. Unless it's a crit or something. He goes for a crunch right here. Um, maybe just getting for that defense drop. And he gets a defense drop, which is fine by him, which is great. And that doesn't really mind. I don't really mind that because I can just Leaf Blade him, just cut that bear a bit more. And he's gonna go down to his burn. And down goes this big uh, monster, which hits really damn hard. And um, yeah, down goes Ursaring. And I, yeah, so I he could be a stun tank right now. I'm predicting that he could go for a poison type stab, so I get out of there. And I don't want to get hit by a poison jab or something. I bring in Alegna, my haunter, and he goes for a taunt right here, which is um, pretty interesting. I guess he didn't want me to wish protect and stuff. I could have potentially stalled this thing out, the stun tank. And the stun tank is a big threat to me, actually. Anyways, I was expecting him to go for the pursuit, so I just go for a shadow ball, just doing a little bit of damage to him. A little bit of damage is better than no damage at all, am I right? Unless there's like some situation where you don't want damage on the other Pokemon. But in this case, I want to damage this Skuntang as much as possible. I can't really knock this thing out. But my only hope of knocking this thing out without st like uh, stalling shenanigans is my um, Sudowoodo. And just like that intro that I showed you, I'm gonna go for that big explosion with my Sudowoodo. Ending this battle with style, ending it with a bang, not a whimper. And down goes his gun tank, along with my Sudo Widow. I have my Leafy on left, so I have won the match, 1-0 uh, in my favor, I believe. So that was a very good battle, Jared. If you're watching this, hope we battle again uh, sometime soon, so we can uh, I can upload more awesome battles like that on my channel. That was a very good ending match. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this battle. Leave a like, comment, subscribe if you did, and I'll see you folks next time.